Peggy 18. This is our series called Map Briefings, where we're going to give you the information you need to know before going to battle. Today, we're going to look at Egypt. I'm Matt Abbott, lead artist for multiplayer at Sledgehammer Games. And I'm Gabriel Galaz, multiplayer level designer at Sledgehammer Games, and we worked on the maps for DLC 2, The War Machine. For Egypt, we focus on a British encampment stationed at the Giza Plateau in order to control the Suez Canal. The Suez Canal was the key to keeping the war machine rolling as it gave access to critical resources. We actually get to play on the Sphinx, the temples, the ruins, we're really bringing you to the heart of Egypt. And in the center of the map, we have this temple that's kind of trapped in time. The resistance class is going to be a really good option. You're going to scramble the mini-map radar of your enemies. So you're going to have those options where you're like, where could they be? Because there is lots of verticality, lots of different options for you to outmaneuver them. So for objective modes, you're generally going to spawn in these areas back here. The nice thing is you have these structures here and here, which are pretty defensible. The artillery emplacement over here also has some half cover that's pretty solid. Um, this location has some full cover as well, and they have a second story you can get on top of. So one of the, the sneakier positions on the map is here at the Water Temple. You can get on top of this structure here. You could take this wing from this crashed airplane and run and jump mantle up onto there. You can uh, pick off players that are running through here unsuspectingly. Something really cool about the center temple is the, the columns that are in there. There's not only great mid-range fights and close-range fights in there, but chunks of the columns will come off. So there's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of destruction going on in there. So in this temple, this is probably where the most action is happening. Now people are going to be coming in from these entrances here. They're going to be getting in gunfights around these columns. And probably the most outwitting maneuver in the map is coming up on top of this and you have this very sneaky path going through this secret kind of shortcut and dropping into the cauldron that's in the middle of this room. You'll get the jump on anyone in there. You'll land on that cauldron and you have kind of a elevated view of this entire room. And from there, you can get the jump on people. Uh, draw. <laughs> the Sphinx, the pyramids, temples, sarcophagus, hieroglyphics. We try to put just as much as possible in there to make our players feel like they are really immersed in an Egyptian setting. So we hope you appreciate what we've put in there and we hope you have fun playing it.